you like that kind of music? I do, friends, but I, I mean, it's kind of over my head, you know? Over your head or under it? Over it. Well, it's way over my head. But it's nice. I reckon. But I can't get it, that rhythm that goes like that. That shuffle rhythm. Yeah. yeah, that's the only thing. Other than that, I could make it, you know. Yeah. If it was straight rhythm, yeah. <laughs> something yeah. like that. But that... Uh, yeah. yeah. I'll tell you No. Well, Paz, I mean, just give them a number. Yeah. You know, well, the way I would there. say. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought all of it was nice, uh -huh. just other than, that, other than the rhythm. The rhythm that yeah. you think it'd been much better if they, you know, yeah, hadn't had that kind of rhythm, this straight line, you know, yeah. get it like that. Yeah. Crazy. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I like the dress. I think I heard it once in Chicago. Oh yeah, you know what uh, I'm not. Uh, the only thing I would say would be Woody Herman or either Stan Kent. You know, uh -huh. that's about my best bet. You know. You don't know the tenor player. No, I don't know the name of the tenor player, but it sure is crazy the way the arrangements and things are. Yeah. I think that's real great. Uh -huh. Sure. I go like that. In fact, I'm gonna get the address from you so I can get the record. You know. <laughs> okay. Sure. Yeah. Who is that? Oh, you'd be surprised again. What? Well, that's a different style of music. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'll go for that too. You know. Mm -hmm. I like it because we played in Chicago with uh, Muggsy Spanning. Yeah. And they was wailing with the Dixieland Arena. You know. So, if people like things like that, it's real nice. Uh -huh. So, I think it's crazy, too. You think it's done well in there? Sure. So, you like Bud? Uh, Who's that, Bud Freeman? Well, I mean, it is Bud. Uh, yeah, it? whoever it is. Yeah, I thought it was nice uh -huh. when they dropped the solos and things. Uh -huh. Yeah, I thought it was real nice. Did you, uh, did you hear that, that style of tennis playing a long time ago? Like that? Yeah. That's played now? Uh -huh. Sure, and all the time it used to be Bud Freeman, and he used to play with Tommy Darcy? Yeah, that's right. Or something like that, and I used to hear him when he used to play those records and things like that. Yeah. Nobody never played like him, so I like a stylist. Yeah, that's You know? Yeah. So it was a style of his own. Individual, yeah. Sure. Like that. It was his own style. I don't think you could say nothing, but it's nice. Uh -huh. You know? What do you give us then? I think, uh, on the count of the Dixieland, I think... Uh, Say three. Uh, That's a nice eye. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All the way. I think that's real nice. The clarinet. I don't know the band or nothing like that, but I mean it's beautiful music, you know. Mm -hmm. I like that too. Well, that's really classical. Yeah, well, I don't know what it is, but I think it's so pretty. That's right. Do you have any particular favorite classical composers? No, I never dig into that. Mm -hmm. Into the classical, you know? Yeah. You know? So I wouldn't know what to say. And very few records I've heard of, because I never dug that deep, you know? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'd give them four, whoever it is. I don't know who the band is, but it's sure it's pretty. I'm going to try to get the record, too. Mm -hmm. Sure. Leave the solo. To each his own. Leave the solo. Leave that. Only time I ever let Buddy play his own is with you know. Tommy Dorsey. Right? Yeah, the only one to discuss was the trumpet, I think. You know who that was? The trumpet who was playing on that? Yeah, the first time. Well, I think I would go like... Uh, just one that I'd say Al Killian. Uh-huh. No, other than that, I'll put it down. Okay. No, no. 
Well, do, you, uh, do you think the whole performance sounds good on, on record? Oh, well, I have to. Uh -huh. That's my people, you know? Yeah, sure. So I have to say, yes. That's my great big eyes. Do you like the um I, I know what I want to ask you now that what do you think about the general new school of the tenor man, all these uh, young kids like the four brothers and all the the whole new school of tenors that are inspired by you? Uh everybody wanna ask me that. Well I'll tell you. Well they just fascinate me, you know? Yeah because I hear little things that I've played, you know. Yeah. And it just knocks me out, yeah. things like that. Do you like the way tenors is going down? down sure. Down? I mean, I always liked it like that, you know what I mean? Because when I first came to New York, you know, I got bruised because I didn't play like Coleman Hawkins. Yeah. So I used to do a lot of teardrops behind that. Yeah. But I mean, I say, well, you know, some people just don't have eyes for certain things. Yeah. So, just... Lester, the way you feel, and I hear the little people playing like that. I'll go and buy their records too and things and sit up and listen. They uh, knock me out, you know? What records do you buy? Records? Yeah. Well, just the ones I like. Same way like you playing now, if I hear one, I like it. Or something, or they play one over the radio or something, I'll go and get it out, something like that. I like to be like, mostly like a variety, you know? I wouldn't like to get hung up with one thing, you know? Yeah. So. That's why I speak like that. You know, I play quite a wide variety of things, and you like almost all of them. So. That's right. Mm. Just all music, and all day, and all night, music, and things, you know. Yeah. It's just like that. Do you have any, any particular all-time favorite records that we can, that I can put down? Records? Yeah, I mean, like the thing that you would have wanted to get 12 stars, to, you know. <laughs> Including your own, if you like. Oh, no, not myself. <laughs> I don't ever go like that. Well, but, I mean, just, you'd be surprised. You have the record by Al Hibbler? Which one? Something like the stars fell raining and something, he's in his jail and his cell. Just here, Dr. Lyon? No. No, sir, that's not fair. Uh, it's probably, is it a blues? It's a blues. Uh -huh. Yeah. Have you heard that? I'm not sure if I know that one. No. Yeah, Al Hibbler. Oh, recently? Yeah, it's real crazy. Oh, yeah. So that's the way I buy them. I hear one and I'll go to the store and get it thin, not wait, you know, until tomorrow. Yeah. But he said, something like the storm was shining and something, and I sit here in my cell. Oh, oh it's nice. beautiful. It must be that new one out there. Made Some kind of red label, whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, Atlantic right now. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty bad. I uh, sang the blues. Well, it comes natural for him to sing the blues like that because he used to go with that J. Mac Chan band, that's didn't he used right, to sing? Yeah. And they right. were solid. <laughs> and uh, Charles, uh, what's his name? Yardbird. All of them, you did? So he know the blues. Yeah, yeah, all of them. The same things, you know? So you know he can sing the blues, but he's been singing his trees, <laughs> things like that, you know? Which is nice. He have a lovely voice. But you should hear this blues, right? Walking in a dark world, you know. Who just started spinning? Get, get some feeling. Pretty tones. Yeah. Pretty tones. What about band? Who's that? What about band? 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 Yeah. Well, you know, they broke my heart, so I can't say nothing. But if I would go, I would go Woody Herman way. Yeah. You sound just like Count, mm -hmm. things like that. Yeah, so, the old band. that's the way I would go for big band. Mm -hmm. Lester, Count Daisy, you know, he had small band, then we play. <laughs> so, Have you like, heard this band like that? Oh, the status. I haven't heard him, but right on, Woody Herman. If you keep jumping like that, that's me. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. So, that's straight. Okay, I think we got a good interview there. Mm hmm have eyes to, to form a big band of your own? Oh, I would have loved to. But this, I wouldn't go for the okie doke and headaches yeah. and then evil spirits in there. Yeah. You dig? That's too much. Dig? I'm, I can barely make it with five, like yeah. I'm playing night, you know? Because yeah. I'd say, like that old lady told me, there's always a bastard in a bunch. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? You will never know who it is. You dig? If it's in five, they can get it. In a trio, they can get it. You dig what I mean? But to do it like you and me, you dig? <laughs> Him and I, it's gonna be like that. There's two of us. That's one and one is eleven. What? What are you doing? <laughs> cool, well, tell me, God damn it. You have to sell the sitters, dig? Now, then it go out of your hand. Then here come three. Here we are, about as that one lonely one. That's the one for you forgive me. And you think he's tight with you, he digs. Say, well, we get four now. Get another one. Well, you know, we tight from the beginning, right? So now they get tight. So now it's two and two. It's 22, you know? Like that. About, you get through and you get five. Then they'll get him and everything and leave me. Then I become one <laughs> out of five. Life center. Right? Yeah. Call in the life. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Then I'm the one that go, you dig? Yeah. But I started off. It was one and one, dig? The big how they build up on me. One and one, two. Cut you in, right? The two. And I don't go there. But the next one, the other man who come in, you and him, right? That's two. We do, but do They'll take him out, right? Then you get another one, who the status? Yeah, I am. One alone. But I see the two, I dig that. I don't have nothing to say, but... Well, it left the hand in the most descriptive language. Yeah. Uh, you know, as a rule, talking to me, he very rarely talks like he talks to you. He usually talks to me pretty much in our language, English, you know. <laughs> but uh, otherwise, we get to talking, and he sure can make one word speak volumes. Yeah. I always thought, you know, like I, I hear everybody talking about cool today. The first person I ever did say that with him. Oh, sure. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot that hasn't been written about Lester. It should be written. I mean, the guy has really, he's really contributed, yeah. boy, in his way. I want to get a lot more to yeah, he's really contributed. No eyes, for instance. Mm -hmm. I thought that's the most descriptive phrase in the world. I don't care how long you're talking, I don't care how much you say. I mean, when you say you don't want to do something, I don't care how you say it. The bare fact that when he says no eyes, that, that just wraps up everything, you know. So he can say it. You just can't say it, that's all. Have you ever uh, considered going to Europe? Oh, I had one chance once, but I'm in the Franks, you know? Mm -hmm. I'd love to go. And I know, I'm not sure like, a, a big man over there. I mean, you can have a time of your life. That's why I want it to be real nice when I do go, you yeah, know? Yeah, go but right. the American dollar, you dig? Mm -hmm. The Franks. I don't know what them Franks. That's the only reason I ever went. Mm -hmm. where's, where's really the best territory for you, do you think? When you're on the tour with Norman, which do you find the most enthusiastic audiences? Out here, Middle West, or West Coast, or where? I don't know. It's, it's all like come see, come see. Yeah. Cause some nights, you know, you'll get in the people, and sometimes, you know how it is. Yeah, I guess it's just there. Yeah. And then sometimes you'll have a sweet state tickets, you know, and things like that. But it's just a job, though. But the people like music. That's what counts, you know? Yeah. yeah. Even some of them places where they play, they have them ropes and things like that. Yeah. Yes, the people are there, you know? So you know they must love music. Because I wouldn't make no ropes to go here. Nobody. Yeah. Myself, you know? It was like that. And I said, there's so much like it. That's the way they do have them ropes. This side, white on this side, color on this side. They show much like it. Well, they still do that at many places. There's the very few. You know what I mean? But there'll be one or two on the tour. You know what I mean? Like Texas. That's usually the way it happens. Not right? bad in Texas. Huh? Well, in some places, I don't know. You know, I don't try to dig them. You know, yeah. that hard. But I know some places they segregated. I know that. You dig? That's about the farthest south you go, I guess. No, we went to New Orleans. Oh, you did? That's right, they had a rope there. Yeah, they and that's why I was growing up there. They must have a rope. You think what I mean, Ben? Them ropes? You think? But you don't want to talk about that and make everybody feel bad. Yeah. But it's true, like that. You think what I mean? And it's hard for me, because I'm standing out there playing with yeah. gray boys, you know? Yeah. Me? All I have to lean on is, what is it, me and Sweet? 
and Ray and Hank today, but they're sitting now mostly, but me and Flip and Bill Harris, you dig what I mean? And sweet, we out there, you dig? And then people love them, you know, you can't post this yourself. People ain't like from that kind of shit. Good looks that we come through, but I mean, you just feel a draft. Imagine, you dig what I mean? I imagine they feel the same way. The white on that side, the color on that side, you know, and you're a lot of uh, you dig? both sides of don't they? You know what I mean? But the one thing is half and half, 50-50. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They're all enthusiastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They seem to be enjoying it, so, you know. But, like the whole thing, we'll all be happy and everything and gay and they book one of these states, you know. Yeah. It'll make us feel better, you know. Mm -hmm. But mostly on my side, though, you know. Because, I mean, I'm like that. I feel real sorry for them, you know. Sure. Why they don't leave there and come up to New York where they could just go somewhere for themselves, you know? And so they sit in the ropes. I swear, I feel bad. I wouldn't say that. But well, if you're living, you have to go and play. Yeah. What was that thing I was trying to play? Give me a new one. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah?